Welcome back and thank you for joining me. We've got a whole heap of houses to build. We're driving for full employment, that's our goal now. Um, and when we do, our economy is going to be insane. Um, got 3,500 in the bank, 299 people. And um, just about to finish this house and hit an old target of uh, 300 population, which uh, this church back here enables. I'll have a close look at that. There's the church. People go in and out of that, just like the chapel. We've got a few very important things to do. We need to get our horses back up and running. Uh, we've got loads of food in there now, and we're breeding them. And we need to put them in some of these wagon sheds. So we've got none there, none there, one there. Okay, so we can increase the, um, the amount of supplies that we're keeping at the wagon sheds because I think we ran out of labourers didn't we and struggling to I think 500's the max struggling to feed everyone so we'll just increase the volumes we're keeping here just do 500 wheat 500 hay we'll go a thousand water and we'll do that for this one as well and then I've got a really interesting question that I'm going to ask and that is, what happens if you have two town halls? Is it even possible? So in the government tab, there's the town hall. Might let, let us lay one down. That's our original town hall there, so I, let's just see if, it, if we can lay one down nearby. Could we lay one down there, couldn't we? Opposite the other town hall. I think that would work for us. Where else would it go? Otherwise it would go up here. Oh yeah, we could have two town halls. It's kind of like a big... Um, oh, it's occupied by that haystack. Could put it here, couldn't we? Let's lay a, a town hall there. Ah, uh, there we go. It says, can only have one town hall. Okay, well that, answer, that answers that question. I was hoping it would get us double the number of builders, but it won't. So you can only ever have seven builders and one mayor. We've built our house. That will herald in the uh, 300 population. We've got 3,700 in money. And we are in the middle of a harvest. It's October and we're still bringing stuff in. But look, we've got the labourers now. And these guys have finished their harvest, and so these guys get to have all the, the labourers. And we set the limit at 10, didn't we, per farm? So um, it doesn't look like... Oh yeah, there are a few extra labourers up in those two farms as well. That's fantastic. So we should have quite a good harvest. And um, yeah, someone quite rightly said to me, if you just hover over the money, it just tells you exactly what you've got in stock instead of just clicking on it. And it's a bit easier actually having it like that in one list. So we've got a thousand beef. Um, 6,000 odd buckwheat, 600 chicken eggs, wow, 1,400 chicken meat, 330 shoes. This isn't what you've got in the um, wheat harvest, nearly 3,000. This doesn't show what you've got in the trading post though. So this is all extra to 2,000 shoes. It's incredible. What, what are you trading? Oh, you're here for six more days. That trader's asking for shoes. Um, 2,000 shoes is 640. That's a deal. It's a steal. And that's potentially the sale of the century. Look, three labourers. So they've got quite a few labourers and we've put the limit at 20 for the trading post. Let's put it down to three then, just in case it all goes a bit mad. Give them another worker. And there we go, we're collecting chicken eggs now at the trading post, so we've got 480, we've got um, milk starting to accumulate, and horse tack. We'll set the limit at 20, because the orders are 10 that you can give people. They're demanding wheat, but we don't have much um, to sell, and they're offering salt and iron, which we and flour and dried fish. Mm. We could potentially do with some of that. Iron we've got 6,000, salt we've got 1,500, and dry fish we don't show any in stock. 
I don't think we've really maintained much stock um, of dried fish ever. So, and flour... We've got 40. Do you know what? We could do an enormous order here. Oh, 303 people. So let's do... We don't need salt. Uh, we don't need lime, but we're going to go full salt for 200. 2,000 units of salt for 200. Take salt whenever we can get it. Because um, one day we'll put it back on sale and our, our people just absorb salt like nothing else. We'll go 2,000 iron. It's a deal. We're going to go 2,000 flour, which is 300. And we're going to buy 2,000 dried fish, which is um, 300. And then it's just the, the lime and the wheat on offer and demand that we're not going to go for. So let's give you... Mr. Trading Post, loads more people. I think they would just go in there, wouldn't they? Would they just deliver it to this first one? To be the main default? And actually, we'll say you could have four labourers. Look, struggling to employ anyone there. But actually, we'll, we'll be done with the, uh, the farming. They're absorbing all the labour. And we have put their money up to 120%, quite rightly because that, that harvest is, is the main thing. Oh, and look, we've built another house. So we're building houses quite quickly now. Yeah, there we go. We've got, uh, got an active wagon as well that's really helping move a lot of materials at once. And we could do with more wagons, so... Male, female, we've got... We could certainly do... We could draft you, and we could draft you. We'll draft a couple of horses now. Where are we sending them? We'll send... Send one over there. Let's just fill up this one. That's fine. So that wagon shed full, should be full. And we've got plenty of stuff in there. So 500 hay, 500 wheat, um, plenty of water. And um, we certainly will get this area activated. And I could just lay down a few more farm fields. There's the edge of the map. So this one will be the pig farm. Oh, we've got people employed there. Let's um, let's unemploy people from that farm until it's activated, and we can just slowly start building it up. Go right to the edge, then up. So that's nice. We've built right up to the edge of the map. So that's another box ticked, and we'll have the entrance up the top this time. And we'll go out quite far. Along. So we've got quite big fields, and then we'll have the entrance this way. The first line you lay down is where your entrance way is going to be. Here we go, one more field to go, and then we'll have all our pigs at the top of the farm. All the uh, pig styes. And um, there you go. Yeah, and we'll have um, some hay drying. In fact, could could go over there. Have we got any hay down here? No, we haven't got any hay or any hay barracks. Oh, apart from one there and there. Okay, that's for the oxen. So we'll need that. Right, how did we get on with this harvest? So everything has been harvested. That's what they they prioritise. And then I think it's... Um, the wording is that they, they then gather the harvest. Is anything disappearing? Or is it sort of staying there? How many workers have they got? One labourer. It's not much, is it? Three labourers over there. And then this farm, no more labourers. And this farm, no more labourers. So we just need so much more labour. Because even with the two farms finished, we're still struggling with these two farms. But we'll have brought in an awful lot of stuff. Got 4,200 in money, 310 people, and we've built six houses. It's amazing. Let's lay down some more houses then, because it's going to be interesting how all this looks in the end. Yeah, this, this um, is where we've, we've come to the edge of the development. And so we'll just build another block. We'll probably get another two blocks in. And we'll need to put in a bit of infrastructure around them. Okay, so we'll turn you around. And we'll lay you down there now come back a bit. 
So nine trees to remove there. I'll make it small. And add you on. Bit of a delay when laying down houses. I guess we're getting to a point in the game where we've got quite a lot going on. Just rotate you around a bit. There we go. That fits nicely. So we'll just um, complete our block of six. We're really building quite fast now, especially now we've got three wagons. And then we do our trick where we delete the big one, big houses on the each end. And then put them back. So we've got a bigger alleyway. Lay you down. We'll move you around and we'll see what this trade is offering. We're doing some pretty big trades at the moment. Just squeeze this last one in. It's not quite happy. There we go. Bit untidy that one. Bit of an overlap around this area. But uh, what, what are you trading then, my man? We are after... Oh wow, this is a big one. So we'll... T mm. Do we need food? Let's just go on slow. How long have you got left? 11 more days on slow. That's fine. Let's go in and see our village. What are we doing? What are you doing? You're carrying chicken meat. Ah. Maybe to one of the markets or to the granary. Yeah, we're keeping um, chicken meat in the granary. One worker and one labourer, though. Okay. What have we got at the trading post, then? We've got 58 metal parts. It's not as much as I'd like. We'll go with it. We can do 53 for um, 2650 in money. Have we got any clothes? Let's have a look. Hover over there. Clothes in alphabetical order. We're not showing any stored, but then we're not necessarily storing them anywhere. No, we've just got 10 in stock. Looks like we're producing enough for what we need at the moment. But once we ramp up production and get full employment, we'll be selling clothes left, right and centre. Sunflower oil, thereafter. We just bought some um, flour in, so we won't sell flour. There it is, flour, and there's our dried fish, and there's our salt. But we've got 100 and t uh, 1,100 sunflower oil, which is great. That's always done us quite well. So um, that gives us 198 in money. And look, they're offering all this other stuff. We could be brave and um, order and load, load more horses so we can fill up our, our wagon sheds. So we just need another six horses, and we've got basically one we can draft to leave an a Adam and Eve. So we'll leave Adam and Eve there, male, female, and we'll leave Adam and Eve there. So we just need five more horses, so let's do that. Let's get a mix. So two ladies and three males. Oh look, you can just buy draft horses straight in, so we'll go five. And uh, that's a total of 300, so we'll go with that. We don't need any more cows or pigs. Iron. Do we need more iron? 7,500. I mean, we could just order it in. 240 for 2,000 because we've got so much money. We may as well just stockpile it up. Okay, let's go. No other trading for you. I wonder if the draft horses will go straight into the, um, the wagon sheds or if they would go into the stables first because we haven't bought any draft horses before. So let's see. We could definitely be producing more pig meat. More pork. So they might take a little while to come in. Look, one of our wagons is up there doing the construction work. There's that new land, that new housing development going very well. And look. This is all our stuff coming in that we've ordered. So let's just play the game and see what's coming in. Nothing showing on that wagon. So that wagon's coming in to pick some stuff up. Oh, cool. Here are our draft horses. Um, can we click on a draft horse? 
doesn't let you click on the draft horses. That'd be nice to um, do, I guess. Oh, they're bringing in a thousand iron. Who are you? What are you doing? You are just Maxim walking around. Getting some trees in. Probably clearing the um, building plots, I think, from trees. What are you doing? You're a labourer. So what was your job? It doesn't show a job, which is a bit odd. You're just a random person following a cart. Any more carts coming in? Yeah, here's one. Is that for iron? No, it's an empty wagon to um, take stuff away. So that's the edge of the map just there. Oh, look, some more stuff's appeared. Welcome. Where did you come from in thin air? Thousand iron. Welcome to our land. This is our village. And all those exclamation marks are the pig farm with all the fields that haven't been activated. Let's just get up and close and see what's going on then in our village. What have you got? Got 192 money, 108, 44, 203. People have still got plenty of money. And so have we, for over 4,000. I wonder if she, we should give them a bit more because we don't want them to run out take down their expenses by one notch. 4,150-ish is what we've got. So the draft horses have come into the pen so we can then distribute them so you just literally um, click and drag. So we've got one in there and one in there so they came to the stables. And then we're going up here with three, aren't we? Yeah, one, two, three. Now, once this happens, we have got full mobility in our movement of goods, which is amazing. There we are. They're on their way. So they're going to expedite our building process massively. Um, we're really starting to build very quickly indeed. So I'm quite excited about our prospects of full employment quite quickly, really. Um, trader. Demanding flour, no we bought some in. Lime, no, no, we're not going to give you anything and we're not going to buy anything either. We don't need live chickens or metal parts. So we'll say thanks but no thanks. Nearly cleared that field. How are our carpenters doing? So we've got 3,900 wood. Uh, 45,000 wood there. Let's do another field. So we'll plant it down here, so the entranceway is just there. There we go. And what's happening with that one? We've only got a few trees left to take down. One, two, three, four fields, maybe? Yeah, four fields is quite good. How are we doing with our cow shed? Where we're just um, holding cows. And one bull. Oh look, we need to get rid of these two bulls. slaughter them both and we need to stay on top every year we need to keep slaughtering bulls don't we oh wow we've got loads here but I guess that's a good thing because it it means we end up with quite a lot of two bulls that are a year old down there so we'll get rid of one more oh god I did a young one there um, another bull there Another one there and there. Let's just uh, slaughter a load of bulls. Keep an older one. Oh, there's loads of bulls in this shed. Wow, lots of them. We'll end up with a lot of meat from that. It's just going to give us a lot more animals. Increase our productivity massively. Oh, I'm breaking my own rule about doing under a year old. Never mind. Times must. This is the admin -y bit of the game. Killing bulls. We'll leave you to live. Okay. New family settling into town. Oh wow, look. So we're uh, just starting on finishing the first block. So we'll need to start thinking about infrastructure for this new area. There is a little bit of room here actually. 
thinking. So if, if you think about it, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. So it means that the two blocks in the middle, this area, could be like a village, um, like hall square, village square. Um, meaning that we could definitely we could try something nice with a market, couldn't we? Maybe five markets, because if we're honest with ourselves, if we sell absolutely everything, it kind of spills over to five markets. It's kind of four and a bit markets, isn't it? I think while we develop the the village square, we're going to put in four, four markets here, and we're going to put in some wells. And we sh should probably expedite the wells quite quickly, because people will need water, and they can get it from the farms nearby. Um, but it'll be nice to, um, to give them their own supply. So we'll put one on the end of each block. We've got three down. We'll do another one here. Um, to make four, and then one more to make five. And then we'll have... We'll just put down some market stalls here that will probably be moved once we get a nice, like, village square or something. So let's lay them down like this. Two that way, and then we'll spin them around. And they can face each other to form a bit of a market square. And we will employ people, so that's another four people. And we'll just go from the top, adding them in order, like we've done before, just so we don't miss anything. Just makes it a bit easier to do. Clothes, dried fish, firewood, fish. Um, flour, honey, and milk. We haven't bought any um, honey in for a while, have we? Pork. And then you go for potato, sallow. We're missing salt for now because it just gets wiped out, but we will introduce salt at some point. I mean, we're just going to have to buy all the salt that we can. Uh, it's interesting they're running out of firewood again. What are we saying about firewood, Mr. Forestry People? We've got 5,000 in stock, so it might just be a case of it not quite getting out there. And and we, I wonder if they're short of trees as well. And it could be that some of them are going all the way over there to clear some of that forest. And maybe not necessarily focusing on more local wood production. And the other possibility is that they're they're not going out here that's out of range and therefore relying on these um, these fields so I'm tempted to set up, another, set up another forestry building and it could mark the beginning of our kind of village square so let's do that because I've got a feeling it might be a little bit of a bottleneck some of you might have been saying this all along. So let's put you here. And that marks the edge of the alleyway there and um, the, the two central blocks we're going to, to be using for the, uh, for the village square. What else do we need around here? Let me remind myself. Ooh, benches, that's it. Let's put some benches out the front of these houses. Let's get up a close and personal. It's a nice spot. People are coming and going to the market. Give you a bench. Give you a bench too. One there. We'll put one in front of each of these houses. Just turn it around a bit so it's straighter. Put it to the right of their entranceway. Oh, trader. Let's see what they have to offer. Cool, look, we're getting through these houses very quickly. Right, what have you got to offer? Okay, you're demanding all sorts. Let's slow the game down. Wow, we've got over 5,000 money. Um, people aren't complaining about not having any money either. Which is interesting. I wonder if it'll get to a point... Oh my god, they've got 500 in the bank. That family. 
They've got 53. How come they've got 500? He works at the min windmill, and she works at the cow shed. 300? 64? 700! Wow, that's a new record. That's the most I've seen. 400 and odd. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, well... We may have cracked the economy, I don't know, because we, we may be bleeding other people dry, but we'll see. And that just shows how full employment um, will have us laughing. So, what are we saying about about trading? So, they're after sunflower oil, chicken eggs. We've got chicken eggs, haven't we? Uh, ooh, we've got 1,039 chicken eggs. So, let's sell that. Oh, 1,000 maximum. It's only 0.1 um, money each, so that's just going to get us 100, but we'll do a deal. Oh look, they're offering honey, so we'll go. We'll buy two thousand for two hundred money. Um, so that's good. We don't need any more horses or live chickens, and we don't really have anything else to sell. We don't have um, any more sunflower oil. We sold all that. Nine hundred and seventy shoes back already, which is incredible. And we've got loads of leather to sell. Although I think we'd probably prefer to just turn that leather into stuff. But we've got plenty of leather, I think. Yeah, maybe we should um, maybe we should keep the leather, leather to ourselves. Yeah, that's going to go back into the population. Okay, go on then. No more trading. Let's go with that. I guess we could have some more of these platforms with unlimited water. I wonder if we could put one down here. Put one there for all these people in this farm. In this farming land. We're going to hang fire before we hire people in these farms again. Just till we have a few more people. But we can lay down a pigsty just to show you where it's all going to start happening for the pig farm. So let's rotate you around. We can put you on the corner there. And then just have them all in a row. Yeah, that probably worked best. We could go all the way up here to get more in. Yeah, let's start our pig farm up here. Can't quite get it in um, in line. Let's start. Hmm. Let's start this one here, and then we can always put one to the left in that space. I think we've left enough space, and we'll just go along the front first. And then we've got our options. And this one's going to be our luxury farm, so let's add some fields in. It's going to be for luxury goods, so it'll be things like sunflower, um, oil and hemp. And what's the longest we can do? That's the longest we can do. And we'll lay down another field. We'll just go as wide. And how long can we go here? Too long. Dial it back. That's as long as we can go. Dial back. There we go. And then let's just see how big we can make it in the, in the corner. Because this should technically be a maximum size field, shouldn't it? Because this is as long as it will go there. And if we square it off, this is as long as it goes here. And then that fits in there. Okay, so that's pretty much as big as you can go. That's that's a maximum size field. Um, we'll come back to that farm because we've got plenty of time to activate it and to draw the the rest of the fields. Um, but in the meantime, blink and you miss it. We've got a finished block, and uh, we're starting on the next ones. And we've got 324 people, so we're really smashing it. And we've got all of our wagons up and running, and we're um, whoop. We're winning the fight back, and we, in the meantime, we've planted all our fields. We kind of missed seeing how much labour was going into it. It's a fallow farm there. But um, when it comes into August, we'll be able to harvest the fields, and we'll just see how many labourers we've got now, because we've got an extra 24 people. So it's helping. And if we just have a look at what food we've got... Yeah, we're going a bit lower on beef, um, understandably. We're quite low on buckwheat, you know. We've only got 2,850. And what else have we got? Potato, we've got 7,700, which is good. Flour, 
we've got 1,700. Chicken meat, same, 1,700. There's a bit of an annoying buckwheat harvest um, showing there with 2,000 that we'll never be able to turn into buckwheat because it's a bit of a glitch in the game, being able to hold that in the trading post. They're demanding lime and offering live chickens. That's a rubbish trade. Let's send a messenger over to our other two neighbours and see if we can do some deals. And um, I once, so these two farms are going to both be fallow next year. So we're definitely going to get this farm back up and running next year. And we may even get this farm as well. So let's have a think. Got no manager there. So let's employ a manager here so we can set up crop rotation. Oh, here we go. Okay, they're offering more honey. We'll take 2,000 for 200. Um, and the rest is just animals and the d demanding clothes. That's no good. So that's fine. We'll just go for honey there. Get a worker there. Get a worker and a, ma and a manager at the new farm. And we've got one, two, three, five fields. Yeah, we're just going to have to set this up normally then. So let's add the fields for a four crop rotation because we'll make sure we've got enough ox. Um, and this will really help us when that other far farm field's fallow. Let's go two wheat and then go into buckwheat and then go into potatoes. Uh, then fallow. And then for this one we're going to go buckwheat and buckwheat and then we go into let's just go with potatoes oh we've got our trader landed and then wheat and then we'll do the last field there in in a minute oh look they're offering sallow wow i haven't bought 2000 sallow before so let's do it oh and it's only 200 we'll do that deal hello they're after some shoes let's sell them some shoes for sure so, oh, would you believe it? We've got 2,000 shoes. That is amazing. So we're going to sell 2,000 shoes for 640. It's a deal. Um, and then they're offering salt. We'll take 2,000 salt for 200 every day. Um, we don't need any more horses. They're demanding wheat and chicken eggs. I think we might have more. Yeah, we've got more chicken eggs. 1,196. So they're really flowing in there. 1,000 chicken eggs is the most we can sell for 100 only, but that'll, that'll be fine. And then we can't do any more deals. Okay, that was good. Thanks for that. We'll um, go, on, go back on full speed and we'll just do the last field on this farm. So we're really starting to make, um, make the moves now. Where are... Interesting, so we're just... We're just showing four fields, but we've definitely got five there. So one, so that's buckwheat, that's wheat, that's wheat. This one, oh interesting, this field is affiliated with that farm. How bizarre. Let's destroy that field and redo it then. How random. And we'll just uh, repaint it. I wonder if that was a bug or did I, did I really do that? Okay, fine. So we've got our fifth field and um, finish that off. So it'll start with potato and then it, it, it can go wheat. We'll stick with the same pattern and then it can go into buckwheat and then fallow. Okay, great. So we've got that farm set up. Um, we can activate the fields. But then we can get rid of the manager and get rid of the worker. And we've supplied for oxen, so look, we've got our supplies for oxen there as well. Ooh, look, this farm. Oh, wow. This farm activated itself. How bizarre. Okay, well, let's um, stop that. It, that farm activated itself, even though it didn't have any workers, and um, the crops didn't really sow or ripen. So maybe that's why we're having trouble elsewhere. Oh, there we go. Look, we've got full labourers there. Um, what are we saying here? Let's just slow the game down because we've got a new trader. Full labourers at that farm. F oh, and nearly full labourers at that farm. And we may have had, um, if we hadn't had the, uh, the mysterious activation in this other farm down here. Where labourers were flocking to it, even though not a lot was going on. 
there's not look the growth went nowhere there so there's no point in harvesting something that didn't really grow and we'll just put the laborers down there as well then just in case are they on zero yep okay what are we trading so they're offering oh let's take 2,000 wheat for 200 we'll do that um, and they're demanding sunflower, lime and flour. Let's just make sure that our trading post can cope with all this. Yeah, we've got full workers. We've got 3,000 honey. And, um, oh, 2,000 shoes are showing. Uh, does that mean that they've just been unloaded and they're going on their way? Still got that annoying buckwheat harvest. There's nowhere to put it. We could empty it out. Um, but if I show you at the granary, there's nowhere to store buckwheat harvest just doesn't come up it's not there so looks like we're gonna have a good harvest though we've got three farms being fully harvested pretty much loads of laborers um, we will need to prepare having oxen we kind of killed everyone didn't we hmm Oh, we've got a few here. There's one there. We might struggle to plough the new farms next year because we've kind of killed all our bulls. Oh no, there's a few here. Ah, uh, yes, there's a shed full here. That's fine. The one on the on the end, brilliant. I'm glad I missed that one. Or maybe I just deliberately left all those um, young ones and it's paying off now. The kindness is being returned in karma, which is great. This is our newfound land we're desperate to activate. But we're taking our time. This is a nice farm. This is a really nice area down by the river. There's so much going on with the fishing and the farming. Factory. All our horses are still alive in the wagon sheds, which is great. We've got more wheat coming in. If we just hover over this, we've got wheat harvest 1500. That'll be turned into wheat. We've got 1,300 beef. That's really maintaining. Oh, wow. And look at the buckwheat up there. Wheat, buckwheat harvest, 7,400. Minus 2,000 at the uh, trading post, maybe. We've got loads of buckwheat coming in, which is fantastic news. Loads of hay. We've got 3,500 hides, which is incredible. Milk, we don't have bucket loads of in stock. Potatoes, nearly 10,000 and thousands more coming into harvest. And then everything else. Sallow, we're getting through. 1650 left. Only 100 pork, so we bought in some sallow, didn't we? Let's, um, we've got 5,700 in the bank. Let's just send out traders everywhere. We're going to send out a trader to our most expensive neighbour, our cheapest neighbour, and the other one. Multiple trading missions going on. We've got 329 people. And look, we're just about to finish our next block. In our new housing development. We could call it New Farm Road or something like that. How far off are they? Oh, very, very close. It's probably literally just the roof, the thatch that needs to go on and get nailed down a bit. So around the side is where the clay goes. There we go. And obviously on top the uh, the roof. Oh, I like how they've kind of joined together. They're more like terraced houses. And here. So that's kind of what I'm going for. Terraced blocks. Here we go. Second block built. We've just got one, two, three more to go. Um, and we could lay down another one here, couldn't we? And then that would be the entire length of our block system. And we've got the room. Let's do it. Okay, so you're. So you go there, there, there. Yeah, we, I mean, we've got loads of room. It might not finish flush with the end. Okay, let's see what this trader's saying. Oh, here we go. Here come the traders. So. Let's. Oh my goodness me, look at what they're offering. Oh, yes. Okay, this trader's going after all sorts. I'll just. Um, delete that house we laid down because I don't want it to get built just in case because it's a big one. Let's just deal with these trades 
Um, we've got 1400 shoes. So we'll sell 1400 shoes. That will give us 448. It's a deal. Um, chicken eggs, they're offering to buy. We've got 1,228. Now, I don't know if um, we'll just employ some more people at that shed. I don't know if we're just reselling stuff we've already sold, but we'll go for 100. We'll sell 100. And look, we, we'll buy 2,000 flour for 300. We're going to buy 2,000 salt for 200, and we won't buy anything else. Um, and this trader, another trader, is offering honey, so we'll buy 2,000 honey for 200. They're after buying sallow, lime and sunflower and, and offering to sell chickens. No, we don't have any any more um, trading to do with you. 336 people. We've increased our population by more than 10% 10, 10 in this one episode. And also we've been um, laying out our fields in the new farm with the new crop rotations ready for next year. And we're coming to the end of, um, of this year. We're in mid-October. You just get to the end of November and that's when winter comes. And look, we've got our labourers, and we've got our labourers there, so they should easily be able to bring in that harvest. And it's a bumper one because, yeah, we're gonna end up with way over 10,000 buckwheat, and we've got way over 10,000 potato, 11,000 and counting. So we're doing it. We're reaching a point where we, we will be able to drive for full employment and our economy is just going to be amazing when it gets to that point so i think that's a, a really nice place to stop for this episode join me in the next episode where we're driving forward building our beautiful village kind of turning it into a town